Hey, what's going on everyone out there? My name is Jake James Lugo. Welcome to the channel and welcome to this brand new JJ's First 20. We're taking a look at Air Twister on the PlayStation 5. This is a game that's from Yu Suzuki. Anybody that knows Sega knows Yu Suzuki. But it's on PlayStation 5 and other platforms as well and it plays very similar to Space Harrier. If you've ever played the arcade game Space Harrier, you know exactly where I'm coming from when I talk about this. It's basically like a, almost like a third person shooter that has you on rails just fighting a bunch of monsters and like enemies and stuff. It's pretty interesting, but with this one there's a couple things that are switched up from it. So let's just dive right into the game and we'll get right into it uh, to actually show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. But here you go, as I'm playing this, let me know your thoughts. You know, in the comment section down below what you guys think of the game here as I'm playing it. But yeah, as you can see here, very similar to Space Harrier. Just destroying enemies. I will say that the camera is a little, like, up in the face. But, um, again, if you're used to something like Space Harrier, you already know what to expect. It's pretty straightforward. And instead of playing, like, some random guy, you're playing as this, uh, like young girl with this weapon and you know you're fighting all these different like animals then destroying all these enemies here as they come along and destroying all these guys there there we go Now, it looks pretty easy at the moment. It's not, it's, it gets much more tougher, I'll admit. And the other thing too, you'll notice here in the gameplay, and I had to do this because of copyright with YouTube, there is music that is playing in the background, much like, you know, a uh, Space Carrier or any other like classic arcade Sega game. There's like music blasting, but I had to minimize the sound with it because of YouTube. It's like, I guess it has to be copyrighted music. I'm not sure exactly, but here you go. That's boss fight time. So this boss fight's pretty, pretty easy. It's just now we're just gonna do massive damage to it. Trying to get all the damage here. Oh, there we go. We, we immediately destroyed it, which is not bad. Pretty good. We destroyed it, son. Took it down. Wrecked it. We got a bonus, we got a whole bunch of- oh damn, I missed like one enemy. No damage, nice. A whole bunch of stuff, sweet. And an S rank. We like S ranks out here. We appreciate them. Appreciate S ranks. Yeah. So now we're in the desert. So, you go to like different locations. With this game. You know, different like, I guess you could say, ecosystems. Fighting all these enemies as they come up. And... It's not anything that's like too over the top as far as as far as like the type of stuff you're doing. Because again, like I think you're just you're just fighting like all these different these different animals that are I guess you could say are mutants or just you know. There we go. Got him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now, funny enough, I'm not even targeting all the enemies, and I'm able to destroy them, like, in groups, because my weapon has a real big, like, you know, area of effect when it comes to hitting enemies, which is good. You get that after playing the game for a bit. It's, I will say, it's like, the, the game itself is, has like almost like a roguelike uh, tendency to it, where you're going to have to play through the game itself, like, multiple times, the stages multiple times in order to gain bonus stars, which is what I'm gathering every time I destroy these enemies. In order to, uh, what is it, use it to, like, power up your weapons and power up your stats and all these other things. In order to get stronger, advance further ahead, take down bosses faster, etc. Which is what I've been doing so far. And what, uh, after we get a little bit further into the game, or at least until I lose, I'll show you guys exactly the spot where you can power up. Because, like, they have this, like, greater this map where you go through with all the stars that you have, you spend points, or spend the stars themselves, and you power up different aspects of your character, or her. And you're able to get, like, extra weapons, faster uh, movement, stronger, uh, what is it, attacks in general. Like, there's a lot of different stuff like that. I don't 
know if I just got hit now or what. Let's see, where are these fools at? There he is. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we destroy them immediately. Kind of almost reminds me a little bit of like Panzer Dragoon for like a brief second. Ah, oh, look, we got all the enemies. Got everybody. We definitely got an S rank here. Straight up. We got no damage. We got an S rank. We got massive amounts of health. We're good to go. So stage three. As you can tell, this game just moves like this. Again, very similar to Space Harrier. Got him. Oh, damn, I got hit there. So there goes our no damage bonus. <laughs> so much for that play. So I'm like charging on my attacks, dodging. This is when it starts to get a little bit more Space Terrier, where you could actually have to move in order to dodge stuff while enemies are coming at you. Which I don't mind, because again, it, it like starts to increase its uh, difficulty just a hair. I think we're getting right towards the end now. There we go, yeah. Oh, wait, no. Almost there. Oh, those enemies just destroyed. It's just finished. Nope. Got him. All those stars. We need more stars. Nice. It's like in certain sections like these, if I didn't have the amount of weapons I have right now at the moment, and I didn't have, like, the strength of them, I wouldn't be able to destroy most of these enemies. And look, I just missed them now. Like, that's a little gimmick with those enemies, specifically, because you have to hit them when their eyes are open. But, there's, like, certain enemies, like, look, look how fast these guys are coming around. Whoops, there we go, got it. Let's get out of that way. Because of that, uh, shot there. Here we go, next boss fight. And he, again, you could see a lot of like familiar little characteristics, tropes, and and aspects of like classic Sega games or anime and other things. Like, look at her; she's like an anime as type of girl. Now, granted, she has some customizable items on her that I've equipped, so she's not the default look. But still, like it's like magical girl versus super evil, basically. That's right. There's big damage. Not get hit by any of this stuff. Got him. Okay, there we go. Now we going straight for the face. Gonna dodge that. There we go. Keep hitting him. Dodge all that. Thank you. And it's over. He's finished. Hit the shower, son. And yeah, we didn't get every enemy, I know that for- Oh, we missed one enemy. Look at that. One enemy and we got hit once. So we still got an A rank, yeah. Pretty sure, yeah. We still got a lot of health, though. Like, we look at all that health we have. We're good to go. So now, there's the bonus stage. Okay, so the bonus stage is basically, like, hit all the targets. Look at that. Look, look how crazy they get with this. God, look how crazy they get. Oh my god, like, I, there's no way I'm gonna hit all these. Look at that. Look, I'm missing one, one there. Right, come, come here. Got him. Okay, there we go. Look at that. It's just it's ridiculous. <laughs> Come on, did I, did I miss them? No, I didn't get these guys back. Ah. I just get keep going. That's crazy. Ah. We got all... Damn, 28 out of 36. It's not bad. 
It's not bad. It's okay. It's all right. It's passable. It's decent. So here we go. We'll go to stage five. So more enemies to destroy here. Destroy all the bees. Or a bunch of wasps or whatever they are. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oops. Now, I will say something I do think is a little bit annoying that some of the enemies, like their shots, because of how crazy and colorful and detailed the background can be, uh, some of their shots could blend in and it's a little hard to see them. Like, that could get a little bit annoying, I'll admit. Like, look at that. Like, some of these, like, it's a little hard to see there as, like, they're, they're popping up and with their shots eventually. See, watch. Wait, see? A little hard to see those, especially when they're happening, like, so fast. Got a bunch of stars, man. We're getting a lot. Got them there. From there. There's more. Yep, there we go. Got him. And then right towards the end. Like, it's still things like flying elephants. It's just so weird. What? No! Got him there. Okay, to dodge all those. Dodge all those. We're good. Okay, dodge all those there. So, yeah. And again, I know it sounds a little awkward without the music, but the music is actually pretty good in this game. Again, if you've played any Sega arcade game, especially like Sega arcade games from like the mid 90s or early 90s, it could get pretty, pretty wild and pretty, sound really good. But for copyright reasons, I don't want to put the music on here and have YouTube go nuts on me. Oh my god, we're dealing with a genie? A genie in the lamp? It's a giant elephant that flies. It's Super Dumbo. <laughs> this is Dumbo Epic Edition. <laughs> this is the one that comes with the extra pre-order DLC. <laughs> it's like Disney's got nothing on this. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we got crazy amounts of stuff to fight. Okay, we got destroyed all those. Got him there. Got all of them there. Jeez. Oh damn, I didn't even realize I was gonna hit by that. Oh, we got him. Okay, so yeah, we had to just have to destroy all those clocks. We finished them. Thanks, Dumbo. We appreciate you. I got hit once at the very end, and now it's gonna be an A rank. And I destroyed all the enemies. Nice. It's not bad. Okay, look at that. A rank. Just because I got hit once. I got hit once out of the whole stage that I completely destroyed every enemy, did a great amount of time, and all that. Still, don't get an S rank. That sucks. Dodge all that stuff. Yes, we got him. We finished him. Got him. All those enemies down. So, thank God I have the upgrades that I do, because otherwise I would not be hitting any of these enemies down here. Like, it just would not be happening. Shots there. Moving around. That's right, destroy all the elephants. Whoa! Whoa! Got him. Dodge those. 
I don't even know how I'm supposed to destroy those. It doesn't seem like those are destructible because I was bombarding them with attacks and that just was not happening. I guess I gotta get a better, stronger upgrade in order for the attacks to be a little bit more effective. But check it out, it is a giant manta ray. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Giant manta ray with like Loki horns on it. <laughs> and here comes the koi fish that flies. I, I don't know what it is with this game with uh, animals that fly. Look, it's got like it's got like feet like a bird, like it's it's all over the place, son. Stuff. There we go. We got him. Okay, so now we gotta do massive damage here. Okay, let's get all this here. Get all this right there. Come on, we got this. I'm trying to destroy all these things, and it's like they just keep firing bullets. There we go. I think that's it. No, nope, we gotta go to the eye. Oh, damn. Okay. There goes our S rank. There it goes again. A little hard to see where those shots are coming in from. Yeah, they're coming from the eye. It's like, you see how like they just come in really fast? Whoa. All up in my face. Ah, jeez. There we go, we got him. We got him. We defeated the giant manta ray. It's all good. So, we destroyed every enemy, cleared the boss, cleared in like 74 seconds, no damage credit, but we're still gonna get a, a B rank? A B rank. Really? That made no sense. Like, we did phenomenal in that whole stage, and it's just like, too bad. <laughs> too bad, son. It was bad. It was garbage. <laughs> go back and do it again. <laughs> oh my god. But still, man. Yeah, so let me know your thoughts about this game in the comments down below. We're getting to the 20 minute mark, so maybe I'll go a little bit further. You know, see how far we go because, again, things are just moving at such a breakneck pace with Air Twister. Overall, I think the game is good, and I want to show you some of the other aspects of it before I end the video. Uh, besides the, the gameplay that I've showed you so far. Again, if you like Space Harrier or anything similar to it, this is right up your alley. Or at least it's done in the same type of spirit. This stuff here. And it might seem pretty easy for some people. Got it. Nice. Got two. Got those fools right there, yeah. I get hit by that. I didn't even see where that came from. All those guys just getting destroyed there. Nice. Got him. They're finished. Just dodge all this. Whoa. Got him. Okay. Just gonna make sure we just don't get hit by that. We're getting a lot of, like, stars, which is good. Let's keep going. Okay, got this giant thing. I think they had to, like, can I hit it even more? Like, I couldn't destroy them. Like, I don't understand, like, how I can't destroy those enemies. I'm, like, crazy. I'm, like, crazy. Oh, there we go. More guys here. Okay, we got more stars. Okay, we're good. We're definitely not getting at every enemy in there. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> Missing a whole bunch of enemies in that one. And then we're back to the next boss fight. Sweet. Freaking sweet, son. Yeah. Alright. It's crazy how she's just floating. Just cause. For no reason. She's just floating. That's how she gets around. <laughs> the giant crab. It looks like something out of The Legend of Zelda, like one of the Guardians, doesn't it? Like, straight up. Oh, jeez.
Oh, jeez. Okay, come on. Whoa. He kind of just like... Okay, destroyed him. Okay, well, yeah, there we go. We got him. Now we gotta go to this thing right here. Oh, jeez. Whoa. You destroy the crabs. Nothing but crabs out here. Whoa, damn. Okay, I got knocked down. Let's see if we can keep getting them right here. We gotta keep uh, targeting them. Whoa, gee, I didn't think I was gonna hit that. Giant crab is just still upset. Mad. Whoa, whoa. Oh, damn it. I saw that coming and I had to, like, move to the side. I don't know why I got hit by that. Okay, there we go. Now we finally dodged it. There we go. Now we got it. Now it's over. We definitely didn't do good on that one. We got hit a bunch of times. It's probably going to give me, like, what? A C rank? Yeah, look at 24 out of 27, which is not bad. But still. Watch it. Watch it. Oh, B rank. Okay, so, yeah. Give myself the benefit of the doubt. You know what I'm saying? All right, so here we go. Stage 8. So immediately, as soon as I got in here... Destroy all these enemies. Oh, jeez. Come on, son. So many enemies just like over there. Oh, okay, there we go. We're good. Oh, where's it going? Okay, there we go. We're good. Okay, now we gotta dodge dodge this stuff because this is where all now it starts to get a little bit cheap to start getting around like some of these obstacles while there's enemies coming at me okay there we go whoops get all those enemies there it looks cool like these visuals look dope definitely look trippy and as hell so hold on let's go up here let's go over here let's go over here let's go up top down, up, down. Okay, there we go. Whoa. Got him. Destroy those guys. They just come out of nowhere. Like, some of these enemies are just like a fear. Just because. There we go again. There we go. Cody, we're good. I had to dodge that. Is there any more enemies? Oh no, we're good. Now it's boss fight time. Look, you see how fast these stages go? Like, they're stupid fast. So we're definitely over the 20 minute mark. We might go to 30. Might go to JJ's first 30. If this ends up being good. Now we gotta fight Big Octo. Oh no, this is an octopus. This is a squid. The giant squid. Or a giant squid that fires, like, gravity magic, apparently. It looks like Demi. All right, here we go. Okay. I gotta hear the music, like, lightly. Again, I have... What the hell? I didn't even see that coming out. Okay, hold on. Yeah, okay, just watch out, because you can see, like, it's a little tough to see where exactly the spot where these attacks are going to be going. Whoops, I gotta go down. Oh. There we go, up top, there we go. Sort of these things. Whoa, jeez, again, I could not tell where that attack was gonna hit. This goes up top now, like, I'm looking at the tentacle that's firing it. The little, like, mouth, oh, Jesus Christ. The mouth that's firing it, but there's, like, no tell. Like, it's already attacking by the time I realize it's attacking, and it's already, like, up in my face. See, whoa. Like, it's a little hard to see that. Whoa, going up. Oh, my God. Whoa. Gonna go up. Okay, go downward. Okay, now I can see at least a little bit better from, like, all those other tentacles. Like... Whoa. 
Whoa! Okay, no, we got it. Okay, now here we go. Now we're gonna fight this eye, right? Yep. What? How the hell am I supposed to tell where that was supposed to be like? It's weird. Trying to keep moving. Trying to keep it moving. Oh god. Oh Jesus Christ, man. That was almost instantaneous there. Whoa. Oh my god. Okay, no, we got it. All right, there we go. Look, we lost aura, all our health there. Like, they hit very hard. And, like, with attacks, they were just almost instantaneous, it felt like. Going with a B rank, okay. And then we got a little bit of health, which is, like, nothing. <laughs> got, like, nothing there. So, stage nine. Look at that. I wonder how many stages this goes to, because I've never gone through the full run, as far as, like, every stage is concerned. But, um... I know there's a number of stages, I just don't know how much exactly, how many exactly. We got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. Ridiculous out here. Ridiculous out here, so I'm like. Oh my god. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Get, get, get these fools. Get these fools. No, no, where are you running? Where are you running? <laughs> oh my god, we got it. Look at this. Oh my god, so many enemies. So many enemies. Jesus. So many enemies. Okay, yeah, we didn't get all of them. We got a bunch of. Look, 30 out of 35 is not bad. I mean, it's still annoying. Got a little bit of health, like nothing. <laughs> no health. So stage 10, the floating city. Damn, how... we're on stage 10 already. I really want to know how many stages there are. Oh, we missed all those enemies. Whoa, whoa. Hold on, let's uh, clear out some, some of this debris so we can actually get through here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Crazy. Okay, hold on, let me clear. This is like the only point in the game that I've seen so far where you actually have to use your regular laser to get through something. Like this. Because as you notice, I've been just using charge shots. I'm trying to get around a lot of them. Whoa, jeez, I couldn't even kill it. Whoa, whoa! Get out of my way! Whoa! So much stuff in my face. Whoa, close. Come on, get out of my way! Get out of my way, son! like they they throw stuff in your face that like blocks your view right before an obstacle is coming up so unless you already know beforehand it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to deal with yeah the whole city is burning over here all right so now boss fight time what do we got for a boss fight it's this chaotic stuff look at this nonsense look at this nonsense over here what the hell is that this is the supreme intelligence. I don't know what that is. Some thing. She's like, what the hell is that? <laughs> How ridiculous it looks. It's got armor and everything. It looks like it's looking for problems. For massive amounts of problems. All right, here we go. Hmm. Whoa, massive amounts 
Scheiße. Ja. Now we got it. Okay, so now where's the next weak point? What the hell is that? Okay, hold on. Let's... Whoa, what, what the? Wow. Immediately, one swipe. And I know if I hit continue, I have to do the whole stage over again. So for the sake of this video, we're just going to go back to the menu. Collect our stars. And, and that'll be, like, the better idea. So let me go to this adventure map, because I want to show you guys, this is how you level up, okay? So you have this whole entire, like, floating island thing that has all these different uh, bonuses that you could get from the stars that you have. So, like, right here, let's, uh, let's try to buy this right here, a witch. So let's buy that there. We've got a new, uh, new breaker stage. Another new breaker stage. What's this? Uh, new music. Let's get that new music. But I also want to get some of the boosts. So look at this. Look at this. Okay, new lock-on. Increase the number of lock-on targets. Uh, shield to protect against boss attacks. Interesting, but I don't think... Well, we, we could use it, but I, I don't think it's necessarily something I need right now. What about... Uh, what's this? It's a new headpiece, new options, new outfit. Uh, new heart. Clear stage 7 and Stardust and Tap Breaker. Hold on, did I get Stardust and Tap Breaker already? Or do I have to unlock some of this stuff? Like, I, what's this? Lightning Chaser. Needless Aegis. That's where we just looked at that. Hold on, let me go. Because there's other stuff over here. What, what is these right here? Vanguard. Okay, so I have to get a Tap Breaker. So that'll open up this, I'm guessing. So you have to clear stage seven, combination of any of the three challenges in uh, Stardust and Tapper. Oh, so I have to beat those challenges in order to unlock all of this. That's that's a little lame because if I just did a bunch of the 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 main game, I and I have all these like points that I've like, like unlocked or that I've done, that's a little lame. Real talk. Now I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of that. So let's try to unlock some more of these that we're missing. There's a boss rush, tap breaker. Let's get this. And this costs the lightning chaser. This costs 80. So I can't do that yet. I'll get the lock on. I'll definitely get the collect four. One stone tablet. So let's get all that because we get the secret island. And we have only three left. So that's going to do it for that. So this is what they were talking about, the tap breaker stuff. So the extra stages and tap breakers. So you have to beat some more of this stuff. Like tap R. Like, again, I don't even really understand, like, some of those, like, mini games and stuff. Then there's, there's the arcade. That gives you, like, variations of, like, the main game. Stardust, which is all that. Go back. And then these are all the equipment and stuff that you can unlock. Like some of the things that we got here, we got new, uh, what is it, uh, armor pieces or just looks for her, which is pretty good. We even got new mask. She could do like different like pieces of like, you know, face paint, uh, mask, you know, different stuff like that. We could get, get like different looks. And we also got different hairstyles, which is cool, which is fine. And then different weapons. So this one is the one I have here, the Starburst, which I think is pretty good. A uh, weapon project, so decoy that appears for a limited time. Eh, no, I like this one better, the one I have. And then we have these here, which are just like shields and stuff. So overall, I think that, uh, what is it, Air Twister is okay if you like this style of game. 
uh, if you just like an arcade game to just to quickly dive into, I feel like this will be right up your alley as well. So let me know your thoughts about Air Twister in the comment section down below. Uh, don't forget to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will talk to all of you again very soon.